Okay, so this is the pickup point, and you just have it drop on top of here, and it goes into here. It stores eight items. In the coding, to have it, you have it, where is it? So whenever I turn it on, I have it go pick up item from pick up point. And then on item pick up, it goes to the drop off point, drops it off, and then whenever it, that's drop off complete, it then goes and picks up another item. So that loops. And then I just have a switch here for when it's off, I can disable it. It uses two batteries in the back. To set these, you click click to set and then you go to the one you want to select left click and there you go and that's how you also do it from there you don't I don't think I actually need these linked here and here the only thing I need linked is the switch so that I can turn it on and off but it sends an arm goes through that and I'm using this to auto bring items to here and I'm using the auto crafter and the pump jack over here. So here's the drop off point. And then I just did the same system pretty much with everything else with a little difference. So whenever, why is that still red? Oh, it's going white. Oh, wait. On item crafted it needs to go white okay all right so now that the spec <laughs> it takes a little while for it to travel that distance but now that's back it will put it in the drop-off point throw on turn on turn off and throw barrel which will turn this on and then it'll start it'll put out that oil the light goes back to white and this, if you turn it off, it will stop and not gain progress, but it will not revert progress. So you do need it on. Now whenever it finishes pumping the oil, it then turns off if, because then it can stay off whenever it's filling it oil. So I just have it stay off. So on item received, it waits 0.1 seconds which then changes the light to red. At the same t right before it changes to red, it runs this, which detects if the light's red. If the light is red, it will produce a barrel and turn off. So that just turned red and this didn't turn on. And then here, whenever a barrel of oil is produced, it turns on the pump jack. When pumping is complete, it turns off. To produce plastic, you just need oil. So, I'll put this up. Oh, wait, no. This up. And the easy way to do this should just be chemical refinery, produce plastic, and turn off and pump jack on barrel of oil produced I want it to wait a second actually five seconds and then turn on turn off so we'll drop a couple barrels all right turn on filling barrel this starts going and it seems like yep yeah, you don't need it to stay on but you also don't need that long of a wait so I'm gonna go two seconds two seconds is like perfect <laughs> so that is the chemical plant And even if the stockpiles up barrels, 
which won't happen with this system. It won't make it issue. Never mind. <laughs> okay. So on item crafted, I guess you can't have it turn back off. So this will always be on unless there's no barrels. As long as there is a barrel, this will stay on. That's kind of what I need it to do. Never mind. It'll turn off whenever it's crafting, though. Which also works quite well. Which was the whole point in that previous segment I just deleted. <laughs> so this works. Because it turns off while it's crafting anyway. And that's the whole point and why... I have it, I have that one segment down there. So we have went over, um, all these are just decoration slash display. So you've seen gluttony, you've seen the hellscape and you saw it was either merciless or foreboding. You have seen the storage box, the auto miner, the furnace, auto crafter, glass refinery, pump jack, chemical refinery, water pump, plant box, cooking station. The conveyor belts are really just not anything that you need right now because you can just use a buddy pod. But pretty much you can just have these always on. Another thing that I do with this though is chemical refinery, on item produced, turn on, turn off, wait a second, there, 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 it's like one, eh, I don't know if that's enough time, I don't know, I'll test, oh, doesn't work. Okay, up and down doesn't work as well as sideways for this. Alright. So, plastic. Try and produce some plastic. Plastic. So that was actually a perfect lineup, I think. But I think that's the difference right there. There's gonna be the spacing. So if I wait 0 0.8, it should separate it less. Why did I keep going to that side? It doesn't matter. Oh, to. Oh, wait, yeah, I don't need to be on that side anymore. So that's the gap. That should be the new gap. Yeah, that seems about the new gap. So if I do point sets, what happens? Is that actually perfect? <laughs> oh, I did not mean to throw this. So I think this is one way to do plastic conveyor belts. There's ever so slightly some gaps every once in a while, but I still think that's pretty good for how 
It is. <laughs> it was floating mostly over. And this should be the last barrel of... Well, we'll do one more. But, yeah. So if you do it like this, then... Yeah, seems like it works, so... You can have that gap, and then there's... Copper wire... I haven't used the turns yet, so I don't know how they go. Like, how they'll work with this. So, does this work the same? Oh, that already seems like it's gonna be weird. It's already going sideways, but I guess it seems like it's fine. I'm just wondering if it's gonna mess up here. Like, it might work. <laughs> Oh. Okay, so the turns do not work with it like this, but that just means set the timing a little, like 0.7, to add that little gap. Or even just do one second and that would be fine. But if you're just planning on having it go straight, point six works for lining these up. I'll have to reset it for it to work again because all of them were pushing each other. But so that's the conveyors, the left turn is gonna be the same. So that's everything here. The cooking station is just nothing. It's literally you have do I yeah, I have some wheat, okay. This is literally just press E on it, bread, potato, done. That's that's all the cooking station is. The water pump just spits out bottles of water. The copper are ready. Have a lot. And out of batteries. But the batteries all I need to do is set up an automated thing for this. And then I can craft 250 batteries once, as this is going, before that runs out. Now, I'm pretty sure these refill. I don't know, though, because that's uh, 91 less than last time I checked, but I haven't seen it go up yet, so it may or may not go up, I don't know. Uh, digital clock, um, the number input I can craft here, but, okay, uh, digital clock, you can have it where things are only active from night, so, like, the lights turn on at night, and that's it. Every minute passes, you can have something happen, every hour passes, you can have something happen on a new day. Something happens, and then you just get current time, trans... Where is it? Con... Version? Number to text... 44... Large screen set text... Display... Wait... Wait... Zero, zero... And delete that, delete that. So, there. You can do that with it, or you can have it where, like I said, the lights only turn on at 
night. So you go, if it's night, you get a branch, variable, finish, turn on, turn off, turn on, turn off, on, off. on, off. If, if it's night, turns on. If it's day, turns off. That should, yeah, so it's night right now. I'll cut to when it's day or when some robots show up to do the flamethrower. Because it seems like the robots are tired of me already. 